Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Artistic Chris, and I am back with another video. I haven't uploaded in a couple days, and may have been a week since now, but I did want to bring forth a, another video concept, and um, this is kind of just a vlog. It's not going to be super duper, like, um, series bait, all this, you know, combined stuff to make it seem like it's some big project. I'm not going to do any of that. It's just so something I thought I could do for other fellow artists. You know, I know that... Um, you know, not just illustrators and designers alike, there are, you know, plenty of artists out there of all types who are just, like, dying to try and get out there. And I think the hardest step between, you know, being a hobbyist and being a professionalist or professional, um, is just the fact that there's that middle ground in the middle step. You don't know how to make money off of what you're good at. And therefore, a lot of people stop or don't fully, in, you know, indulge in what they have. So I thought, because I'm in the heart of that right now, and the questions that you're asking are the ones I can answer as I go, I thought it would be, you know, nice. I know there are more professional people, there are people who have succeeded more, you know, things like that, and I'm not there yet. But one of the things I do offer is the fact that I'm in it right now. And a lot of people that can answer these questions either don't remember what it's like to be back then, or just never had to face with certain things, you know, and I'm sure there are some of them that can answer, but I just thought, hey, you know what, I'm doing this now, I think this will help. So, the first topic I had, because, you know, a lot has happened in the last couple of weeks, um, is that uh, I did attend some, you know, functions with my graphic design club, uh, Digital Media, and um, that brought me to the question, is... You know what could help you know people really push themselves out there and kind of get a grasp of what they're doing and I thought one of the biggest things that can possibly happen is introducing yourself to the industry and the people alike um, one of the things I see all the time is people with really nice skills like people who are really good at things really good at doing things they're just not getting out there and meeting people and being part of things um, I suggest that if you're a high schooler or a you know college kid or just somebody locally um, of any age or any you know level, join some type of program. If you're in college, I know that they're gonna have some type of program or college um, like club that you can join. Um, high school may have one too, and a lot of times you can get in, in there, and it may not be exactly what you're looking for in terms of building yourself, but a lot of it is character. You get to meet you know people that are doing it with you there will be people who are better and further along than you and there will be people that are on your level and people even behind you and you can kind of gauge where you're at you can kind of gauge what other people are doing and then you can also attend things you know i mean the more you're in a group of people specialized to what you do the more chance you're going to have to kind of get out there and be part of it i know that my um club has already done a couple of um exhibitions we've done a video screening we've done a uh, digital media exhibition altogether, which is um, it's digital media by name, but by trade it's all types of arts, um, 3D modeling, illustration. I was even a part of that. I did not win, unfortunately, but I did get to put my stuff in there, which was really cool. Um, I've been a part of an uh, orientation with my club, where we, you know, I got to sponsor my club, uh, try and get people involved things like that, and I've been to a banquet uh, just the other day for something else, but it was nice because our group really got to be together and, you know, it's having a lot of close bonds. My professor, who is actually, you know, also the club leader, he um, is, you know, has a lot of background, a lot of success and things, and, you know, the more I start to talk to him and learn from him, the more I'm starting to be more comfortable out in the world and kind of taking, you know, chances. Those are things I wouldn't have known five months, I wouldn't have had any structure so I believe firmly that if you guys are trying to do something join a program if there's if you're not in college not in high school and you're just a person who just enjoys doing things I suggest finding the local you know club or something around here you know join some exhibitions of your own um, even join a or you know if you're just looking let's say you're a musician you can go to music stores like Guitar Center always has um, great musicianists, or yeah, great guitarists, I don't know if musicianists is a, is a term people use, but, um, you know, they always have great minds there. It's kind of like the GameStop for, um, music, and it's pretty cool. It's, it's 
really a cool place to be. You know, I'm no music expert, and that's not what this is about. But um, you know, in in concept to that, for example, um, art museums. You're going to be surrounded by people who know their art or appreciate art. Um, you go to Barnes and Nobles and start drawing, or any other type of bookstore or cafe or anything like that. And you're going to be sure to get some some interesting people pass your way. Go to the beach and draw. Go somewhere and draw. Be out and be in the crowd. And I guarantee you it'll serve you way better, especially in clubs and things like that, because then you are kind of guaranteed a free ticket into, you know, a specialized place. You're not just a guy who's illustrating at, you know, this place. You are an illustrator at this place, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's my one big tip for the week. Um, is join a club, be part of an orga organization. Also, um, a couple other things, really big news. I had been searching for commissions for a couple of weeks now. I did finally get my first uh, commission to come back in the same span that I got a group, like five or six people to respond back and give me opportunities. But I got my first official one today. Um, I already did some work for it, already started, you know, kind of working. And it's a huge, huge, huge success because people like me who have been doing things their whole life, um, you know, and we're good at it. You know, I like to think that I'm not amazing, but I'm good at what I do. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't try and make profit off of it or, you know, money. Um, but one of the biggest things that a lot of people do, there's tons of great people at whatever they're doing out there, but they're just not, you know, getting it to that next step. So. For all the people who may just be started in commissions or are looking to get into commissions but have no clue how, which, you know, trust me, I've been there. I've been searching, working my ass off. Probably more time has been spent, um, you know, looking for a job or looking for freelance work or for a client than has been doing anything else. And um, I will tell you that, you know, it just, it all came at a great span. It all came at a great time. And my advice is if you want to get in this try and do an internship, try and do, you know, some client work. And one of the biggest places that I can think of is Upwork.com. I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, it's one of the largest freelance trade sites that there is and one of the best to navigate that I've seen. I've tried out a couple of them. I'm adamantly posting on other ones as well or um, proposing on other ones, but Upwork has been probably the best. It is the monopoly of freelance sites. One of the biggest things that I've noticed is there are multiple ways to go about it. Usually they'll offer an ad, you respond with a cover letter and some things about you. Um, a lot of them range from different skill levels, different price levels, um, and you know, there's between, some have like three or you know, two or three people submitting, and the you know, ones that are better deals or easier may have more. I've seen up to 50, um, and that's, that's crazy. That also determines a lot. So if you're trying to make a profit or trying to um, try you know make some money out of being an artist I think the number one biggest way sorry I'm <laughs> trying to uh, gather my gather myself but um, I think the number one biggest way to try and get out of out of the hole that you start in where you're not making any money and you just don't know how is putting together a solid you know introduction there are so many different things that will separate you from your competition when you're trying to work for clients and one of the biggest things that i've noticed is a client likes to see three things one your work don't even think about trying to be a freelance artist or an artist in general or work for commissions if you don't have any you know work any prior work doesn't matter if it's great or not doesn't even matter if it's finished put some work on your portfolio put some stuff that you can easily display and get ready to start sending it to everyone. Because if people don't see work, how are they supposed to know what you're about? So the number one thing that I can say is make sure you have plenty of you know things to show people. You don't have to show them everything necessarily, but different people are asking for different jobs. And you don't want to send them a digital painting if they're asking for a hand-drawn sketch. You know, I mean, you, you want to make sure that you're catering to what they're looking for exactly. The next thing that I've noticed is be persistent. You may not get your first one, you may not get your 10th one, you may not get your 20th one. But I'd say as long as you have time to submit some proposals, um, go ahead and search online or you know in person or whatever you're doing. Um, and make sure 
you're going through the ones that you like that you can do, don't go overboard, but also don't sell yourself short. Don't do a $10 one that's going to take 10 plus hours, you know, because you, you want to spend your time a little bit more valuably, um, and you know, also obviously based on your skill level, but don't try and jump into a two year, 40 hour a week, huge thing that, you know, obviously you don't possess the willpower to complete, whether or not your skills are there. Um, you know, you need to find a balance. You need to find something fun. You need to find something relaxing and something encouraging. When you're young and you're trying to build a portfolio, it's great. It's perfect because you can build and strengthen your uh, portfolio the way I am. So by the time I graduate with my four year and then six year, I'm going, you know, my bachelor's and then um, master's, I'm going to be able to show hundreds is my goal is hundreds of client based work, you know, as compared to my competitor who has no client based work and all of it is you know from education that's what's going to stand out so you want to make sure that you're using your portfolio while building your portfolio to make things for your portfolio understand <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of out of there but um make sure you have work that's the number one thing um the number two thing make sure you're adamantly oh well i am on the number two thing um make sure you're adamantly kind of uh, proposing like I mentioned earlier um, the biggest thing that you can do is do not get discouraged because getting discouraged basically sends you out of the door uh, if you stop like I said earlier you know 10 or 20 in you may not find that the 21st person is waiting to give you an offer so my advice is just keep going I submitted probably 40 or 50 in total on different sites before I even got my first you know uh, response my first three responses were declined my fourth one was never answered so it's still sitting there today in active candidacy but it's not being opened um my sixth one is the one that just finally accepted me and i've got three others waiting um to decide if they want to accept me so that's awesome you know that's what you got to do you got to be adamant be proactive in the um scenario be proactive in the industry do not let your competitors breathe, eat, sleep, anything more effectively than you. You got to put on your big boy boots and take control. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. The third thing that I can see that has gotten me some success is being personal. Um, the difference is, for example, somebody states what they're doing and what they want. For example, it might be a children's book or it might be an ad. They might say, I'm doing this. I need this. Here's the first way you can respond. Hey, my name is so-and-so. I am this. I do this. And I would love to work for you because I am, you know, reliable. I can guarantee a deadline. You know, I am efficient and I give good communication and feedback. That's great. But they expect that out of everyone. What they don't expect is for you to say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I do this. And I found this interesting because I am also passionate about this. By the way, I looked deep into your, you know, your proposal. For example, if it's an ad on something, you search it, you research it, do a little bit of background knowledge and say, I love the fact that you're doing this. I love the fact that you're about this. And I would love to see myself working with this project to increase it. When they see that you're being personable and they see that you're creating an atmosphere where you really care about their project and not just about their cash, they're going to start looking at you differently. And that's going to separate because there's for every hundred good illustrators that there are that are, you know, really solid at doing, you know, making art and doing things or whatever you are, musician, illustrator, whatever. Um, for every hundred that there are that could be doable in this position, there might only be one person that says, hey, look, I really enjoy doing this. I thought your thing was awesome. I looked into it, you know, provide a little bit of brief response from it and say, hey, look, this is what I'd like to do. And they will, you know, be, be very impressed, happy and flattered that you have looked deep into what they have to say. Um, and that's another big tip that I had. Uh, the three of those things, having um, a portfolio, making sure that you're staying on top of your game and beating the other competitors, and being personable. Those are the three things that are really, really, really going to get you your first job and many more after that. Um, 
you know, I it's it's a big deal for me because this is my first time ever doing commissions. This was a huge feat for me. Um, I've been posting all over social media and things, just trying to let people know that the dreams are coming true. And the number one thing I have for you and will always have for you is I am a strong believer that if you want your dreams to come true, make them come true. I am making my dreams come true in the uh, you know in the process, and I think everybody should try and make the dreams come true. I'm not saying drop everything because there has been some hardships. There's been some times where I've had to do things that I did not want to do and just couldn't. I you know like I I suffered a lot of out of the way painstaking mistakes to try and get to a point where I at least have my first you know job or you know this or that or whatever it is um, I will try to post these every time I get a nice update or kind of want to talk to you guys because like I said I know a lot of you guys out there pro there's probably more aspiring artists than there are artists or hobbyists and that's why I want to make sure that those people are getting the feedback and the response from people who are actually doing it who are actually busting their butt and maybe see what their competitors are doing because I hate to say it, but a lot of the people who are trying to get the job that I'm getting are my competitors. And you should look at it the same way. I don't hate anyone. Don't. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying put anyone behind you or, you know, nobody is better than you. I'm saying make sure you guys know what you're up against. I'm making sure that I know what I'm up against and try and better yourselves and prepare yourselves for the world ahead because there's so, only so many jobs and you want to be the one that sticks out and makes it great. So. I'm sorry for a little, you know, the lot of, ra like, a lot of rambling. Sorry, I couldn't even, um, I tried to keep this video short. I don't think it's going to be short, but, um, other than that, I had a lot of fun talking about this. It really is nice to be kind of a public speaker for anyone ready to listen, because that's always what I wanted to do, is kind of tell my story and translate it to people who want to listen. So, if you guys are, you know, aspiring artists of any genre and you want to know any questions or have any concerns or just want to give me some advice or anything go ahead and leave it in the description or the comments below um you know give me some feedback i'd love some you know likes on this video if you liked it if you didn't like it tell me why you know whatever i just want to make sure that everybody's getting a fair chance to kind of you know enjoy the the finer things in life um, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys all and stay classy. Peace out.